Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a furnace here that is exhibiting signs of having a hole in the heat exchanger. So if I can get this thing to start up right for you, you'll be able to see what happens. But we're going to turn the switch on. It's going to light. And then we'll see that the flames change once the main blower comes on. So let's do that now. Whenever you're lighting these things with the cover off, you want to stay back in case some of the flames come back at you, which can happen. So there we go. Whoa. Like that. <laughs> Normally it doesn't do that that bad, but anyway, they did. So the, the flames look fine right now going across that burner. Now, as soon as the main blower comes on, you'll see a change in the center too, I believe it is. So let's wait and see what happens here. Here comes the main blower. See that? They're like wicking back. That's a really clear sign that we have a hole in the heat exchanger. It's basically the air blowing across the heat exchanger is interfering with the air. Is uh, um, being pulled through the heat exchanger because this uh, fan here pulls the air out of the secondary heat exchanger. But by doing that, it pulls it in through these top ports here, goes back and forth, and then it comes down into the collector box, and then it gets extracted out this vent right here. So. This furnace is done for, unfortunately. It is shot. So we will red tag this thing. This thing is not going to be allowed to run. So it's a uh, 22 plus years old, so it's uh, definitely served its owners well. But this is uh, not safe because it's possible for some level of carbon monoxide to be released into the building if there's a hole in the heat exchanger. So. Yeah, wow. That was really exciting. I wasn't expecting that. Woof of fire. <laughs> Many a heating guy has lost his eyebrows and eyelashes to that scenario. So now you've been warned, so be careful. But, yep, hole in the heat exchanger. So we'll be tearing this thing out at some point, and maybe I'll make a video showing the holes in the heat exchanger at a later date but just wanted to show that symptom of the burners first lighting and pulling through like normal because there's no air blowing across the heat exchanger just this motor is running and then as soon as that main blower which is down in this bottom compartment as soon as that comes on the flames changed and they shouldn't change this should stay the same even after it's lit so thanks for watching if this video helped you Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. And hit that bell icon to be notified about future videos. So, yeah, help me out. This helped you. I'd appreciate it very much. Alright, we'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.